Naukri dot com, India's number one job portal, have uh, come up with a Naukri career score where they use their expertise in helping grow careers and apply this to cricket stats. And what we get is a whole new way of looking at cricket careers. Zach, you're going to be happy looking at uh, the Naukri career score today because uh, five, the top five bowlers, there are four Indians, and Siraj is the one who is the uh, seamer with the 715 points there. But uh, before I get to you, Zach. Uh, Uh, Michael, you you were there at Vankhede the other day. Siraj gave them those deja vu feels against uh, Sri Lanka again. What about that spell was very special for you? Oh, I- incredible! I mean, he's, he, since he's come back into the side, he's just uh, picked up wickets. He bowls that inviting length as a bat that you think you can drive it, and he just goes boom, boom either way. Uh, bowling quickly, he's got that bouncer up his sleeve as well. Uh, India have been catching. The fielding looks electric, but it's his run. When you see him running in. And he runs in hard. You just know he's he's in good rhythm, and he's just got that ability to bowl the unplayable. You know, some of those balls and Bummer and Siraj as well. Some of those balls that they bowled to Sri Lanka, they they were unplayable yeah. deliveries. And I think that's what's probably scaring the opposition in this World Cup. That if India arrive and bowl like that, it doesn't really matter what you've done in pre kind of uh, matches in the nets. <laughs> Sometimes you get balls that you just can't play. Mm-hmm. And I look at the attack of India, and they. Actually, have probably four bowlers that can bowl balls to you that you just cannot play, and you just hope that they don't bowl one to you early. Uh, Nisanka, that first ball from Bumrah was exceptional, um, but Shami, in an attack that's outstanding, he's been the standout. Mm-hmm. He really has. He's just bowled with so much pace and skill. Uh, it, it's a joy to watch real quality seamers when it looks effortless, and it certainly is. I mean, Zach will tell you more about seam bowling than me, but. It's not. It's so much hard work that goes into bowling quick. But Shami, at the minute, is making it look very easy. But uh, Zach, you know that's why everyone is up there in Nokri Career Score. But Siraj, in particular, has been doing this all year round. In, in spite of uh, uh, Shami not being there, Bumrah not being there, Siraj has gone and picked those wickets, which is why uh, he's up there in the ranks with the longevity and situational performance. Yeah, I think that's something which, uh, if you look at Siraj's career, uh, he got the opportunities. Uh, And he was maybe second or third in the rankings because uh, in test matches also he's someone who actually who has come from uh, the test matches and then started mm. playing uh, playing white ball cricket. Uh, the senior bowlers missing, Bumra was was injured, so that gave him that uh, that opportunity and responsibility as well. At that stage, uh, someone had to take uh, when uh, when Bumra was not available, and he did it fantastically well. And he kind of grew in confidence as he moved along. And bowling is something he doesn't shy away from. Mm-hmm. You you see him bowl uh, seven overs, eight overs in Test matches, and he's running hard uh, with the same intensity as he as you've seen him in the first spell to the third spell of uh, of the day. Uh, that has been the hallmark. And I think with more more matches, more performances, he's been just growing in confidence. And now with Bumrah and Shami back, you have these bowlers also there, and that whole uh, whole rankings are looking so good. Uh, because you have four of uh, the bowlers there, and you usually have five bowlers in a team when you're playing in playing <laughs> eleven. I mean, that list is is incredible for India. But what, number nine, Jofra Archer. I mean, he, he hasn't played for ages. <laughs> 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 How's Jofra snuck up on the list? But you know, I think that that's why for me India are the are the powerhouse of this World Cup. Because I'll keep saying it: batters will win you a match, mm-hmm. bowlers win you the cup, they get you the trophy. And, If India can continuously bowl like they have done as a collective, and I, I have to say, Rohit's captain's been, been excellent. Yes. But the one KD just put the slips in at the right place. He squeezed the opposition. He was aggressive. He had a short leg. He had a, a catcher behind square as well. Um, I like, and I, and, I, and I think in the past, in, India may may not have been as ruthless. Mm-hmm. You know, going through the throat when you've got that opportunity of really nailing an opposition. Maybe in the past, India have just been a little bit nice and. I just feel with Rowe, he, he he gets a sniff and he's going right. End off. I've got the attack to blow teams away, um, and it wouldn't surprise me if they blow many teams away because the, that bowling attack is so good. Well, Archer was there because uh, it's the overall ranking. It's his situational performance on the Nokri career score, what, which is why he's up there in the top ten. But for Indian fans, uh, we'll be all very happy looking at the number of Indians on the Nokri career score. We just hope that they keep going higher up the charts.